Well, uh, kicking off today is National Minority Organ Donor Week. And uh, joining us uh, this morning with some details on it on the Raritan Bay Medical Center Jersey Newsmaker Hotline, let's welcome in the Assistant Director of Resource Development uh, for the New Jersey Sharing Network and uh, one of the nicest people I think I've ever met in my life. Uh, let's welcome in Jackie Lou Rea to the show this morning. Jackie, welcome back. It's Bert Barron. How are you? Hello, Bert. Thank you so much for having me again. Wonderful to have you back on the program, Jackie. Uh, what is, uh, what's going on with National Minority Organ Donor Week? Uh, what do people need to know? Well, just to throw out some numbers, that you, you know that in the state of New Jersey, there are about 5,000 people waiting for organs. And um, nationally, that number carries through as well. So you know, just to give you an example, for um, the people on the waiting list, people of white ethnicity, 43% of them represent um, the waiting list. And last year, the donors uh, throughout the, the country represented 67% of all the donors. In the black population, the waiting list is represented by 30%, um, and donors are 14%. Uh, that designate themselves donors at M- MVC. Hispanics, 18% um, are on the waiting list, and only 13% say yes to donation. And then Asians, as you recall, I am Chinese. Yes. 7% of us make up the waiting list, and we represent only 3% of people who say yes. So, you know, clearly minorities need to get educated. We need to communicate to this audience why it's important to say yes to donation. And so this this uh, month or this week, um, and I'm carrying it into the month, is um, is is uh, geared to raising awareness in our minority populations because we need organs. Right. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, one of the ways, obviously, you kind of get the word out is by, by being here with me this morning, which uh, I'm very grateful for. Are there other ways? Do you get to schools? Do you get to workplaces? I mean, how else do you kind of reach uh, these communities, uh, Jackie, and kind of get the word out? We get to all those places, but, you know, one of the primary places that we get to um, reach the minority populations populations are in faith-based organizations. Mm, okay. So, um, you know, where, where we can, anywhere we can, Bert, we go in and we talk to audiences um, to, to say – Minorities need to to step up. We need to get uh, we need to start saying yes to donation, or at least to learn more about it. But you know, with the barriers of cultural, language barriers, religious barriers, we need to knock some walls down and say this is an important thing to do. So I thank you for for um, having us on the show again because. Your audience, uh, we all need to know, yeah. so I thank you. Of course. Jackie Lure is our guest this morning. She's the Assistant Director of Resource Development with the uh, New Jersey Sharing Network. Uh, there's information on the website. I'll give you the link in, in just a second. But, Jackie, I was, I was thinking about this on my way in this morning. I was trying to figure out uh, what is the typical profile of someone in New Jersey who has signed up as an organ donor? Is it... Uh, uh, a middle-aged woman uh, with a, a mid-level income or so. Is, is there a p- specific profile of someone who is a typical organ donor in Jersey? You know, it's hard to say. Um, it's hard to say, and I'm, I'm not sure what those numbers are, but I do know that the younger population in the state of New Jersey today seem to be more aware. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw out 40s to 50s, people who are very aware of what's going on mm-hmm. in healthcare today, know the needs of the community, know that there are diseases that are plaguing the population, that blow out our kidneys and affect our hearts. Um, the more educated you are, the more you, and I'm, I'm not talking about school education. I am talking about health care education. Yeah. Um, are the people that really get it, that understand that the myths and misconceptions that go along with organ donation are really not true, um, that you truly are giving a gift. So you know, that's why it's so important for us to be on shows like yours to say, you know, what you think organ donation is really isn't what it is. You're truly giving and, and, and giving gifts of life well, you're not using your organs anymore. Right. Truly not using your organs anymore. So um, it, we just we really just want to educate the community, and that that equals more people saying yes to donation. It seems to me that it's something that a woman is a little bit more open to because the guy mentality is, is well, I'm not doing that. I don't want to have to go through that. But it's like you're not going to feel anything, trust me. And if anything, the people you leave behind, they're going to get a sense of satisfaction because they know that you – Help save some lives here in New Jersey. Is it? Are, are there more women on the list at this point, Jackie? Is that, um, is that a fair yeah. statement? I'm not sure. 
sure bird okay. about that. I'm just not... thinking, you know, you know, how guys tend to think. So, <laughs> well, I'm not gonna be. Uh, I'm not gonna get all the guys upset with me. But all right, but less than one percent <laughs> of the people who um, who pass away in the hospitals are actual candidates for mm. donation. So the privilege of giving the gift of life is so um, so unique. And so very special. And just, yeah, you know, my mom gave the gift of life four yeah. years ago. Yeah. And so to me, you know, although I lost my mom, I am telling you that, that the privilege that I have of being able to say to the world, my mom left a legacy, my mom saved people, and she has impacted the lives of so many, is, is truly a gift. And unfortunately, people don't realize, you know, the role that they potentially could play in organ and tissue donation until, like my family, you get hit by a truck on the mm. New Jersey Turnpike. You know, so that's not the time to think about it. No, nope, exactly. The not- time is when you're healthy and in your right mind, and you can make a decision and share it with your loved ones and your, your friends and family. Yep, that's the way to do it. Uh, you can get some more information on National Minority Donor Awareness Week. Uh, week. Uh, we do have a link up on our Facebook fan page that will take you right there. And, of course, you could always visit the Sharing Network's website at njsharingnetwork.org and uh, find out about all the things that they do 12 months a year uh, in addition to just this special week as well. Uh, anything else coming up, Jackie? Some 5Ks? You got some golf outings? Uh, what else are you guys working on? Well, we are proud to announce that uh, we have Team NJ Sharing Network, which is our cycling team, and we will be participating in the Grand Fondo, New Jersey on September 7th. Wow. So we would love to have um, um, any cyclists out, and even if you're a novice cycler, come on out and join us. There's information on that on our website. And also we have um, our golf classic coming up on October 6th, and we're going back to Baltusrol. So Beautiful. we're very happy about that and invite all golfers to come. And then November is Donor Sabbath. So, you know, we talk about minority awareness, again, through the churches and through the faith-based organizations, November is going to be a big month for us to really get the word out again on the importance of organ and tissue donation. Jackie Lou Rea, Assistant Director of Resource Development for the New Jersey Sharing Network. Thanks for your time this morning. Uh, keep up the amazing work, and uh, we'll, we'll talk to you again very soon, my friend. All right? Bert, thank you so very much. Have a great day. You too, Jackie. Thank you so much.